We are living here in Palestine, Palestinian territories, under occupation. We want occupation to end. Because ending the occupation is a vested interest for all, both Palestinians and Israelis. What we want and we continue to believe at churches. We believe in two-state solution. The state of Palestine living side by side with the state of Israel on 1967 borders. We want Jerusalem to be a city for the three religions, Judaism, Christianity, Islam and for the two nations, Palestinians and Israelis. And for me, these are issues of justice. We want to thank the churches, the member churches of World Council of Churches that have been supporting our vision. And they, have, they are still committed for justice. We believe the core problem of the whole Middle East is the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. Once you solve it, it's easier to solve other conflicts. For this reason, ending the conflict is ending injustice, not only in Jerusalem and Palestine and Israel, but in the whole Middle East. The churches must work and speak, you know, principles in our world and not shy out because if the church will shy out or if the church will say, oh, I am sorry, this, uh, this is not my work to work for justice. I think I want to remind you what Bonhoeffer said. He said, the church must be the conscience of the state. If the states are not working for justice, the church must remind them that after all justice is for the human being. And for this reason, the, as, as mentioned earlier, justice is a biblical notion. It's a call for the church, even Professor Jeremiah Jeremias has written and has said, justice is the only notion of the Old Testament. And for this reason, if the church will only think justice is a political thing, they are mistaken. We don't speak on one part of the human being. We speak on holistic, the whole human being. If the whole human being does not live in justice with their dignity, and if the church doesn't, who will do it? The church is called to work for justice. Some may tell me, you know, it may be costly for the church, and we are not politicians. Yes, I am not a politician. I am a church person. I am an evangelical. I read my Bible, and I find my Bible only justice. For this reason, you cannot really have divide yourself. You look for the well-being of your people and of human beings, even your enemy. Justice is the call for the church. There is never a cheap justice. There is always a cost justice. And this cost of justice is the call of the church. Who would have said that apartheid will end? You know, and I want to remind you, the prayers of the churches in the world 
The support of the churches for the churches in South Africa ended apartheid. Not the politicians. The prayers for justice. The, ch the, wor the work of the church. And this is a good example for us. That if the church will together in the whole world work for justice, we will create a symphony of justice that will challenge the injustice of the world and that can change our world from being a, a world of injustice to a world of justice. This is your call.